Hi, I'm Alessio Cortellini and I'm a medical oncologist at the University of L'Aquila in Italy, a wonderful place which unfortunately became famous after an earthquake in 2009. Right now, I'm a visiting researcher and a consultant medical oncologist at Imperial College London. I cannot emphasize enough how honored I am of being named recipient of the third Hanwalt Young Investigator Award by the editors of the Oncologist Journal. My field of interest from both clinical and research point of view is immunotherapy of cancer. As a young doctor, I started my residency program in 2013. Therefore, I had the chances to directly witness the improvement that these treatments brought through the treatment algorithm of some of our patients. And even though clinical trials already provided all the necessary evidence to meet their approval, as an oncology community, we needed to develop our own insight in them the kind of awareness which can come from clinical practice only. Thanks to the chief of our department, Professor Corrado Figorella, I've been leading the immunotherapy program in L'Aquila since 2016. We basically aimed at creating some specific expertise in immunotherapy management with respect to, for instance, clinical outcome evaluation and immunotherapy side effect management. Through the years, we created a great network, mainly involving other young colleagues, and recently we have also spread over our national boundaries. We developed several cross malignancy studies with immune checkpoint inhibitors, aimed at investigating some drug specific aspects rather than disease specific ones, such as immune related adverse events management, the role of body composition, and the role of concomitant medications. The paper we published on the Oncologist Journal is a clear example of what I'm talking about. Because patients with a pre-existing heart immune disease have not been enrolled in clinical trials with immune checkpoint inhibitors. Therefore, in clinical practice, it's up to the clinician to evaluate the risk-benefit profile of treating these patients beyond the risk of worsening the underlying heart immune disease. With that analysis, we provided a clear estimation of the increase of risk of developing immune-related adverse events overall and overlapping of the underlying heart immune disorder, allowing clinicians to properly counsel their patients and finally deliver immunotherapy in a more safe and effective way. Here at Imperial College, I'm working within the early phase clinical trial unit led by Dr. David Pinato in order to get in touch with immunotherapeutic agents with different mechanisms of action and which are in early phases of development. My final goal is to increase the networking across different centers from all over the world, maybe with other young colleagues, in order to join our efforts to produce more comprehensive evidence on immunotherapy of cancer.